Okay, here are the retro games I picked up. Def Jam Vendetta for the PS2, EA Big Series, came out April 1, 2003 for GameCube and PS2. So that was it. Uh, it combines wrestling, pro wrestling with hip hop uh, artists. So you have quite a few in there. Has a nice little story. Um, it's a pretty good game. Plays pretty good. So had it a while ago, traded it in. So I'm just kind of grabbing some of these games I used to have that I know that actually were pretty good. So there's Def Jam Vendetta, the greatest hits. And then up next, we have Hot Wheels Stunt, Stunt Track Challenge. Came out November 10, 2004. Game Boy Advance, Windows, PS2, and the original Xbox. Uh, Hot Wheels games are kind of hit or miss. I haven't played this one yet. I beat that on 360. Not, not that great. So there's Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge. So looks interesting. Up next, we have Spider Man Greatest Hits 2002. For PlayStation, came on GameCube, GBA, Windows, and Xbox. So this game is really, really well made. You really got to feel like Spider-Man when this came out. Of course, most Spider-Man games are pretty good. So used to have it, never finished it. So I figured I'd grab it. It's pretty cheap. Here we have Marvel Superhero Squad. Came out October 20, 2009, for the PS3, PSP, Wii, and DS. So I never played this game. It still sits around like 12 bucks. So I wanted to try it out. Uh, it has co-op, which is nice, and you know, superhero themed. And last, and most certainly least, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. This game sucks. Uh, I bought it because it has, it's a crossover game. I used to have it, I figured I'd get a hard copy. Because, unfortunately, I don't have the hard copies of the other two. So they're really expensive, they're like $100 or more usually. I mean, you might be able to get them for 80 So, that's why I picked that one up. Now, in case it does go up in price, since PS3 is now, I think, in retro status. So, here's what I picked up recently for PS2 and PS3.